All right, check it out. Look who got a new toy. It's Mayhem on the Citizens Band. All of this considerable mess from... Let's widen that up just a little. So you can really see. All of this mess, with very few exceptions, is Citizens Band radio traffic. It's crazy. Look at this channel over here. Oh my god, it's so lit up. They're all stepping on each other. Want to hear it? Sounds just like the old days. Yeah, nothing changed. Here I thought the CB band was... <laughs> Here I thought the Citizens Band was dead. Well, that's not the case at all. Look at this. This is weird. There are little sweepers that, uh, you know, you see these on shortwave all the time. Uh, HF in general. You see the sweeps that'll go across, you know. But on this, I've never seen this before. This is weird. They're everywhere. Look at that. Right there. Keeps repeating there. A lot of them are random, though. See, there's three, four right there. It's weird stuff. I don't know what it is. But, oh, SDRs have to be the best radio toy ever. I'm stunned by this. I thought it would be cool. I <laughs> had really no concept. It's crazy. If you love radio or loved radio when you were younger, oh, try it out. It's cheap enough to get into. It won't break you. Save your pennies and do it right, and you'll still spend less than 200 if you're doing it smart. Um, I went kind of AWOL upstairs and uh, spent more than I should have. I spent, oh, probably $10 more than I should have on the SDR, which is an NESDR model number one from uh, New Alec, I think is how you say it. It's N-O-O-E-L-E-C. You can find them on Amazon and eBay with ease. And uh, they make the SDRs. Get the NESDR 1 or 2. Don't waste your time on the micros and minis or crap like that. You're going to be sorry you did. But the NESDRs are good, good little radios. Uh, and I got the Hammond Up Up Converter, which allows me to do the HF. There are mods, but I tried them, and they suck. The signal sensitivity is terrible, and you won't make up for it properly with boosters. Um, the reason you're seeing so much traffic here can, relative to the noise level is because I made my own booster. You want to do it, man? Do it right. I live in a subdivision. I can't be putting up 200-foot-long wire antennas. So I made myself a little booster and uh, ran 20 feet of 22-gauge uh, wire around the ceiling in my lanai for an antenna. Works really well. Works very well. Look at that. Neat. Um, but anyway, anyway, so yeah, let me take you on a very quick tour. I'm going to babble incessantly here and waste time. Uh, now notice tune frequency. Don't pay attention to this one. That's the local oscillator frequency. But I run with a offset to get the center tuning spike out of my way. It interferes. If you've got them both lined up, you'll get heterodyne, and it'll make you crazy, and it will also suppress weak signals. So, yeah, I run with a, uh, what is it, a 50, uh, 50,000 cycle boost, or boost, uh, offset, I'm sorry. These are neat. Maybe somebody can tell me what that is. Uh, see these a lot in the 20 to, uh, say, in the 20 megahertz to, there's another one, 20 megahertz to, um, to, say, 10 meters. I see a lot of those, and I have no idea what they are. They could be ham radio related, but I just don't know. Oh, I'm running out of battery here. I'll have to do something about that. But before I do, uh, let's run up or down, actually, just a hair to 20 megahertz. There's WWV very faintly there. It's better on uh, 15 megahertz. 
this time of day anyway. So 14. There you can hear it. When you run with a boost, the RF gain, oops, the RF gain on the SDR does not work like you have in mind. The idea of running a boost is to compensate with a low noise amplifier to get around using the SDR's noisier amplifier, and it is. I tested it. It's noisier. Um, but then after you do it, it's a little fiddly working with the gain of the SDR. Sometimes running it really low is best, sometimes maxing it out is best. You just have to feel your way through it. It has to do with the frequency, type of transmission that you're going after. Um, let me change the battery really quick. Okay, we're back. Let me zoom in on this so you can see the WWV signal. I'm a little bit off there. With HDSDR and with SDR Sharp, um, you just click and it will auto-tune you, boom, into the center. See, I got that nice and trimmed out. It's a little work doing an offset and making sure your uh, frequency trimming is right, but yeah, it's worth it. Once you get it right, man, you can't miss. It's awesome. There you can see all the sideband uh, effect from the WWV transmission. And uh, down here in the audio waterfall, you can see all the little tones that they broadcast. And with HCSDR, you can manipulate your bandwidth much more effectively than SDR Sharp by pulling to the sides. 2.5 width, 2.5 uh, thousand hertz for the high, and about a hundred for the low is good for HF. Oops, my camera around. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, look, nice signal now, right? That's not perfectly loud and clear, but I'm doing what I can with what I have. Uh, okay, I don't want to babble all day, so let's go move a bit. Just a hair down and zoom that back out so you can see the amateur radio activity on uh, 20 meters. There's a sidebander there, there. I think this might be one here or it might be interference. I get regular repeating bands of interference and I don't know where it's coming from. I haven't really worked that out yet. I haven't had this for very long. Um, but anyway, oh, another neat thing about HDSD Sharp, HDSD Sharp, HDSDR is that you can pull this middle of the scale along and see what is up or down of where you're tuned without detuning. See, there's a couple strong broadcast stations here. in the high 13s. And you can slide along and do it that way. Um, let's go down to 7 or seven megahertz, yeah, um, in the 40 meter handband, because I'm getting some really strong activity there. I've been following some of the uh, rag chewing over the morning. You go to lower side, click, and then you can adjust. Because it's hard to just click and get it right the first time, especially if you're zoomed way out. If you zoom it way in, then it's a lot easier. And they're not saying much. There we are. Look at this. What is, what is your problem, banana? band got fairly quiet, but, uh, yeah, so there's 40 meters. It was really active earlier and coming in so strong. Let's bump that up a little bit. Maybe I'm hurting myself with the gain. I 
I've got my attic open because uh, I was doing some antenna, antenna experiments up there and my cat's going bananas trying to figure out a way up into the attic. He's a little off his rocker. So click off there. Uh, one sidebander there. And we're a little bit high. Yeah, I'm way off, so that. Is he doing? Let's go back over here. A little bit faint, very weak. Um, band kind of fell apart on me. Was much, much better earlier. But that's the way it goes. That's HF. That's the charm of HF. A lot of noise. Upper side band. And right there. Oh, that was a good hit. Didn't have to retune. Right here again, faint. Not strong at all. Another good hit. That's fairly strong. <coughs> um, interesting little footnote. I have decoded PSK thirty one. Uh, JT65 is it? Um, Ready in a couple of different speeds. And SSTV and CW. Uh, I don't think I've hit anything else just yet. It's been a long time since I've been into the digital mode decoding and I'm a little rusty with what's what. Um, but yeah, it all works. You just, you get a program like Virtual Audio Cable and then use that to pipe your audio from your SDR program to your decoder and it works perfectly. These things are pretty stable. They're good enough. I uh, also did some digital voice uh, decoding on uh, the public service, um, well, 450 megahertz roughly and 860 or 50 or 60 up there. Works well when it's not encrypted. Look at this. Been seeing that too. That's weird. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's the basics of how to how to tune stuff just in casual. I know I didn't run you through setup. That's really not within the scope of this video. This is a babble video. Maybe I'll do a deeper tutorial another time. Thank <laughs> you.